Eritrea is a sovereign nation that is situated in the Horn of Africa. Eritrea is surrounded by the Red Sea to the eastern and northeastern side. Djibouti to the southeastern side. Ethiopia to the south, and Sudan to the west. It is the 99th largest country on the planet which has a total area of about 45,406 square miles, and it includes part of the Hanish Islands and the Dalek Archipelago. It is a multi-ethnic nation and hosts a population of about 6 million people. Eritrea is a member of the UN, African Union, and an observer at the Arab League together with India, Venezuela, and Brazil. Eritrea is often overlooked and misunderstood by the rest of the world. However, there are many interesting and unique aspects about this country that are worth exploring and learning about. Here are 10 interesting facts about Eritrea that will help shed some light on this fascinating country. Keep watching until the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Show your support by liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Let's continue. Fact number one. Asmara, the capital city of Eritrea, is also referred to as New Rome or Italy's African city. Asmara is referred to as a New Rome because a considerable percentage of the older buildings in Asmara have Italian architecture. After Benito Mussolini took over Eritrea, he tried to convert Asmara to Little Rome. Therefore, he built numerous monumental structures with exquisite Italian architecture. The distinctive Italian touch in the city is the effect of Eritrea being colonized by the Italians for a very long time. Currently, over 400 structures have an Italian architectural look including Cinema Capital, Karen Casa del Fascio, Orthodox Cathedral, and the Villa in Decomhair, among others. Some shops still use Italian names like Ferramenta, Pasticceria Moderna, and Bar Vittoria, among others. Fact number 2. Eritrea has never held a presidential or national election since independence. Eritrea is a one-party state which gained its independence in 1993. Eritrea has never held regional or local elections since 2004 and national and presidential elections since 1993. Eritrea has had only one president since 1993. President Isaiah Safwerki has always expressed his disdain for Western-style democracy. The president stated in an interview with Al Jazeera in 2008 that his country will wait for about four decades before holding an election. The 75 representatives to the National Assembly were elected in 1993, while the rest were appointed. Fact number 3. Eritrea is home to one of the oldest port cities in Africa. The port city of Adulis is one of the ancient African cities that was established during the time of the Aksumite Kingdom, between 100 AD to 940 AD, in Eritrea. Adulis was situated in Zula Gulf along the Red Sea, and approximately 25 miles from Massawa. Adulis was one of Aksumite Kingdom's metropolitan cities. The control of this port allowed the Aksumite Kingdom to be a leading power in the Red Sea. The ruins of Adulis are found in the present-day city of Zula. Adulis was part of Aksumite and DMT empires. The Roman merchants used the port during the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. Fact number 4. 
Eritrea has no official language. Eritrea is a multilingual state, and its constitution confirms that all languages are equal in the country. Tigrinya is the de facto language of Eritrea, which had over 2.5 million speakers. Tigrinya is widely spoken in the central and southern parts of the country. Other Eritrean national languages include Tigray, Kunama, Bailin, Nara, Saho, Afar, and Beja. Tigrinya, Arabic, and English language are the de facto working languages, while historically Italian language serve as working languages. Fact number 5. Eritrea was part of the ancient kingdom of Aksum. The kingdom of Aksum was an ancient kingdom that was centered in the present-day Tigray region, Ethiopia, and Eritrea. The kingdom existed between 100 AD and 940 AD, and its polity was centered in Aksum city. Aksum was the leading player in the trade route between ancient India and the Roman Empire. Aksum is believed to be the home of the Queen of Sheba and the resting place of the Ark of the Covenant. Fact number 6. The name of the Eritrean capital city Asmara means they made them unite. Although it would be easy to think of Asmara, the Eritrean capital, solely as an Italian-built colonial city, its origins actually reach back some 700 years. Originally, it is said, there were four clans living in the Asmara area on the Cabesa Plateau, the Geza Gurdam, the Geza Shalil, the Geza Serenzer and Geza Azmi. Encouraged by their women, the men united the four clans and defeated the bandits who preyed on the area. After the victory, a new name was given to the place, Arbid Asmara which literally means, in the Tigrinya language, the four are united. Eventually Arbit was dropped and it has been called Asmara, though there is still a zone called Arbit Asmara. Another legend tells that in this region the Queen of Sheba gave birth to the son of Solomon, Menelik I. Fact number 7. The name Eritrea is derived from the Red Sea's ancient name. The country's name is based on the Red Sea's Greek name, and it was first adopted in 1890 when the Italian Eritrea was established. The country's name is associated with the region's past name Erythrais, which relates to the Red Sea's ancient Greek name Erythrean Sea. The name persisted during the subsequent Ethiopian and British occupation. The name Eritrea was reaffirmed by the country's independence referendum of 1993. Fact number 8. The highest point in Eritrea is Embaswara. Embaswara is the highest mountain in the Eritrea which is about 9,902 feet high. Embaswara is part of the Eritrean Highlands, and it is situated on the southeastern side of Debub. The mountain can be accessed using a paved road from Senate City, 83.9 miles south of Asmara. Fact number 9. One of the world's oldest hominids was discovered in Eritrea. A million years old skull with traits associated with both the Homo sapien and Homo erectus was found in the Afar region in Eritrea. The skull provides a connection between the earliest anatomically modern human beings and the hominids. Before this discovery, the oldest fossil with modern human traits was the 600,000 years old, which was excavated in Bodo, Ethiopia. The skull was discovered by Ernesto Abate and an international group of paleoanthropologists. The almost complete skull, with two incisors and two pelvic fragments, were recovered from the ancient river and lake sediments deposited in the volcanic northern Danakil Formation. Fact number 10. Over 30% of the Eritrean freedom fighters were women. 
The women played an active role in the country's war of independence, with over 30% of the members of the Eritrean freedom fighters being women. The war was fought against Ethiopian forces to re-establish Eritrean sovereignty from Ethiopian annexation. Eritrea was annexed on November 15, 1962, following pressure from Haile Selassie I on the Eritrean Assembly. The federation was officially dissolved and Eritrea was annexed by Ethiopia directly after. The annexation of Eritrea by Ethiopia resulted in the country's national language being changed to Amharic. The struggle for independence accelerated promptly after annexation and the war continued for 30 years. By the end of the 30-year-long struggle, women comprised about one-third of the military force of 95,000. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Please show your appreciation by liking and sharing this video. See you in the next episode.